This is the brand new G3 electric scooter from Team G. Hey, Wayne here with a brand new product from Team G. Team G makes e uh, skateboards and now they are in the e-scooter business. So if you've been following my channel, you can watch my review on the e-skateboard that I did recently. But for now, this is the G3, it's brand new. It's affordable and with their flash sale that's happening now, not sure how long that's gonna last, uh, it's even cheaper, even more affordable. So if this is something you might wanna get, I'm gonna put links down below so you can grab one yourself. For now, I'm going to unbox it and review it, so let's check it out now. <laughs> oh, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. Okay, Team G has made it very easy for us. All we have to do is pull the stem up, lock it in place, slide the handlebar in to the stem, line up the holes, and put the screws in. All right, so there is still one more thing to install, and that is this, uh, this rear fender. But what's pretty neat about it is that these parts right here, they are going to slide right over these parts right here on each side of the scooter. So you're just gonna kinda slide them on over They'll fit right into place where they belong. And then all you have to do is put the screw in and tighten it down and you're done. Okay, now that the scooter is all put together, I'm gonna go over it one more time, make sure everything's nice and tight and the battery's fully charged. Then I'm gonna get out there and ride. The G3 has an 8.6 inch wide deck with a 48 volt, 15 amp hour lithium ion battery. It'll take about eight to 10 hours to fully charge and has a range of up to 27 miles, but of course that will vary depending on how you ride and your weight. It has a 1200 watt rear brushless motor that can reach a top speed of up to 26 miles per hour and can handle a 15% hill grade. It's equipped with 10 inch tubeless pneumatic puncture resistant tires. For the brakes, it has front and rear 140 millimeter dual disc brakes. It also has front and rear shock absorbing rocker arms. The front lights are built into the deck, having one on each side, and it has an integrated brake light. It has a waterproof IPX4 rating, which means the scooter is resistant to water splashes. Okay, so right here you have the real-time current, real-time voltage, a temperature gauge, your odometer, battery level, miles per hour, and then on this side you have your controls, which is touchscreen. You can turn the light on, and there's different light modes. One, two, three, back off. Change your riding mode from low to medium, which is two, high, which is three. And then um, you can set your miles per hour back to kilometers or back to miles per hour. Now, personally, I like to change, when I'm riding, I like to change the mode really by using this the power on off button you press it twice and it goes to two press it two more times goes to three and if you just press it quickly just a tap you can turn your lights on and you can go through those modes there too okay to fold this up all you're going to do is squeeze this latch pull this pin and that will allow you to drop the stem Next, you're just gonna take this strap, place it around the back pedal, and you're now ready to carry it off, put it away, take it with you, whatever you wanna do. This could be a really good scooter for commuting, say maybe back and forth to school, if you work nearby, want to ride over to the park, maybe go to a little shopping center, get something to eat. It's a lot of good uses for this scooter. Folds up very easily and uh, it's not too heavy, so it's pretty easy to carry for a little while. I think it's uh, rated to go 26 miles an hour, but I am holding it Oh, wow. 
I'm at 29 right now. That's kind of strange. But okay, it's going faster than what's uh, listed on the website. These tires do a pretty sufficient job of holding on to the ground decently, so I have no fears there. Okay, rear wheel drive going through the lawn here at the park. Handles that very well. Yeah, felt a little water back there too, so that's cool. Something to keep in mind is that this scooter is pushed to start, so you're gonna have to give it a little push to get going, which is kind of cool because you don't want to accidentally just take off at it from a dead stop sometimes when you're just standing around. Okay, we're gonna try this incline, mode three. Twenty four miles, twenty three miles. All right, it's holding good at twenty three, no problem. Hi, cool. So the brakes have automatic cutoff for the motor, meaning if I pull the trigger while I'm throttling, kills the motor, scooter slows down to a stop. So very good, pretty common on uh all these e vehicles so nice to see that team g actually included it here too okay i'm surprised by the pickup of this scooter when i'm on mode three and i press the throttle down it does take a second but once it gets going and you let off and then you press it back down again it does take off pretty quick from a dead stop or an almost complete stop it will be a little slow on the takeoff but that's a good safety feature especially if you're not too used to these uh, riding these scooters steering is very responsive leaning right and left turning the handlebar all that is it's very very responsive so this scooter is really good for commutes like back and forth to work to a park meet up with your friends to go for a ride, uh, maybe go to the store, throw a backpack on, you can throw things in your backpack. But I could see people like in school using these across campus. You can pack it up pretty easily, it folds down nice and tight. It's easy to carry, it's not too heavy. Uh, for a little while, it'll get heavy on you after a while, but uh, it's not too bad. It's not overly powerful that you need to be scared of it or that you're going to throttle down and it just take off out from under you. You don't have to worry about things like that. Mode 1 and 2 is going to be your really relaxed mode. 3 is uh, when you want a bit more power, get up any hills with it pretty much, most hills. Like this one I'm about to go on right now. So. It's handling it just fine. The price is really right on this too. So this is a good budget scooter. Hey, so if you're thinking about getting this neat little scooter, check out my affiliate links down below. It doesn't cost you anything to use them. Help out the channel. I appreciate that a lot. Grab yourself one, get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one.
Whew. Got water running down from my eyes. From all the wind. Probably should be wearing goggles, huh?